What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your default apps on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now you can also do this on regular Android phones as well, so it's not really anything new or specifically for uh, Galaxy phones. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first thing you want to do is you want to swipe down from the top, go into settings by clicking the little gear in the top. Once you get to there, you want to go into applications or apps however it's worded on your phone so there you go apps tap that and then at the top you see choose default apps now on here this is going to be where we see all the majority of everything that we want to see so i'm going to pull the phone in front of me so it's a little bit to, easier to see but i'll put over to the side what i'm actually looking at so first of all we have the browser app so if we tap on that Dependent upon which browsers you have uh, downloaded to your phone, you'll see multiple. You'll probably at least see Chrome and Samsung Internet, if not Firefox, and whatever other browsers there are out there, there's a lot of them. And all you do is just click the little button next to it and that will be your default browser, meaning if you click on a link in say like a text or whatever, it just opens up, it's gonna open up your default browser for the one you choose. I like Chrome, so I'm gonna keep it at that. Um, next, you want to go into call redirector app. So that's going to be if you want to redirect uh, phone calls or whatever. Uh, you have different apps for that, like I have Google Voice or None selected. So I'm going to keep it at None, but you could choose one if you needed to. Caller ID and spam app. There's ones you can download from the Google Play Store for that kind of stuff. I keep it at None generally or just keep it on the phone one. So, you know, do what you want, but that's how you would choose that one. Digital assistant app, this is kind of a big one. And then at the top you see the device assistant app. When I go in here, I can choose between Bixby or uh, Finder or Google or Samsung internet or none at all. I like to have Google as my, my assistant. It's very knowledgeable, it's fairly fast and it controls all my smart home stuff because it's already set up. So that's why I choose Google Home, but you could have Alexa in there and that's how you would change it is right in these settings. And then going back again to the default apps, let's go into Home App. Home App is your launcher. So you can see the Nothing Launcher and I have the One UI Home. Over the years, I've become comfortable with using and accustomed to the One UI Home uh, app, so I keep that one. But if there's tons of them out there, guys, there's paid ones, there's free ones, um, I know some of you guys don't use the One UI Home one. You like, I can't even think of what it begins with. It begins with an N. I can't think of the one, what it's called, but the really, really popular one. I know I purchased that at one point. Uh, but yeah, you can come in here and choose it really quickly and easily just choose between, oops, mine already went back as you can see. So I'm gonna switch it back to the One UI Home app and come back in here and go back to the main screen of default apps. Next we have phone app. So if you had a different phone app other than the Samsung one, you could come in here and change that to the one that you want, SMS app. Obviously I have messages, messages again, which is the Samsung one, Messenger, which is the Facebook Messenger, and Signal, so you can use any of those apps as your default SMS app to go through your regular text messages. Now let's go back here one more time, and we have opening links, so let's tap on that. When we come in here, it says open links in apps, even if they are not installed. So you can turn that on or off if you like to have that. I don't like opening apps and links, so I'm gonna actually turn it off. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And that's your default apps, and that's how you use them and how you get to them and how you control them. So check it out, guys. There's you know some cool stuff in there that maybe you didn't know or some stuff that maybe you wanted to change but you weren't sure how to do it. Well, there you guys go. That's how you can change some of your default apps. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.